All right, for this video, we're gonna talk about distribution. Now with distribution, the key to knowing when to use it, most times is we have parentheses, right? Now sometimes we can have parentheses and not need to do distribution, and those would be some special examples. But for our examples, if we see parentheses and there's two terms in it, we're gonna probably need to distribute. So let's look at a couple examples. So when we do distribution, think of it as your friends going to someone's house on Halloween for candy. So your friends are in the parentheses and the house is outside. So when you go to that house, that person will give both of you, both you and your friend, candy. And so what a lot of teachers do, including myself, is we'll draw lines on top to make sure that we make sure every person in that parentheses gets their candy. So now we follow our multiplication rules. So four times X is four X, four times positive two is positive eight, and that would equal to positive four. So in our equation toolbox, we did distribution first. Now we go and look, do we have to combine like terms? And remember, combining like terms happens on one side of the equal sign. And if we look here, there's nothing to combine on the left side. So we go to the next. The next step says do opposite of the number. When we do opposite of the number, it's gonna move it across the equal sign. And now we end up with four X equaling to negative four. The last step then is to do opposite of the variable term. So if we're multiplying x by four, we're going to divide by four and we get x equaling to negative one, okay? Let's look at this next example, which is distribution, but it's gonna do a combining like terms as well. So we have parentheses, so we need to distribute. And typically we wanna do the parentheses first in most, uh, in most equations. All right, so each person that goes to the door gets candy. So we have three times two X, which is six X. Three times negative four is negative 12. Now this right here, this negative four times three is where most people are gonna make mistakes. They're gonna forget to use their negative multiplication rules uh, when, when doing this. So anytime you have a negative in equations, beware, because that's potentially where you're gonna make an error. All right, so the distribution part is done. So now we need to bring everything else down. Okay, so now here's where we do combining like terms. We have one variable term, so that stays the same, but we have two number terms and we need to combine them. And when we do, we get negative 10. Okay, so now we go down to the opposite of the number step to move it across the equal sign. So in this case, we're gonna <clears throat> add 10 to both sides. And then the last step is to do opposite of the variable and we get X equaling to 10. Okay. Now distribution, combining like terms, doing opposite of numbers and variables. These are really the basic tools on how to solve just about most equations you're going to see, right? Eventually you're going to see more difficult equations where some other skills are going to be needed, but these four tools will take you through the majority of equations that you need to solve.